welcome everyone. We have a very special treat for you here. No trick. It's the NBA. On Gotta Halloween. say, if you're uh, you're watching this on YouTube, man, you're this watching this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You're watching this way late. Way late. We stream this. We stream this in March, bro. <laughs> on Twitch, and you're watching it in April. And just, just think about that, man. Links in the description. You want to watch it live? You can. Mm. Oh, politics. Oh, he's got it. It worked for him. Celtics. I mean, they were old, man. Bill Russell get old, uh, and he got exposed once they got to the playoffs. Number one team in the East, but once they got to the playoffs, he'll destroy you. So it's Definitely got exposed. Vince Carter missing his last shot. Um, so Dave Cowens coming in, starting. Well, Russell's still off the bench though. Toronto with the ball. He just he just can't play those minutes, especially once he gets to the playoffs. You need more minutes from him. He just can't do it, man. He just can't produce at that. At that Brady outside. Uh -huh. 16 feet away. Vince Carter, the bucket on the assist by McGrady. The Raptors, though, man, every year they seem to be surprising everyone. Still making it to the playoffs. And this team is super, super young, super athletic. I mean, you got Tracy McGrady, 6'9", point guard position. You got Vince, you got Vince Carter at the uh, shooting guard position. And you know, his ability to shoot from beyond the yard, it's often overshadowed by his spectacular dunking ability. And then he got Kawhi, a young Kawhi, at the three. You got Logan Kirk, big beefy Logan Kirk at the four. And then you got Andre Barton or whatever his name is and at the five. Both of them capable of stretching the four and throwing it down, you know. And off the bench, you got people like Chris Bosh, Scotty Barnes, um, uh, Stoudemire, right? And Stoudemire off the bench, you got a ton, a ton of young athletic guys on his Raptors squad. Meanwhile, for the Celtics, I mean, you got a, 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 a team that has quite the legacy, so they got quite the team, right? I mean, you got... Uh, Jason Tatum at the three, who arguably can play. He doesn't you know, get the second one through four. One of the most yeah, Max Lewis gives the them an outside threat. At, so you got Bob Cousy at one. Yeah, so Bird at four. To and then you got Dave Pounds at five. But then off the bench, you got Cousy, Bill Russell for Dave Pounds. You still got Robert Parrish coming in. Go for Bird. Still got go in. Paul Pierce while got a moment, coming in for Tatum. You have John Havlicek. Uh, at the, you know, the two off the bench, and then who's who's there? Well, Jojo White. That's right, Jojo White. Can't forget about him. Coming, coming in off the bench. <laughs> the Celtics. Plus, you got people like Rondo. And you got, I mean, you got people deep, deep, like deep, deep. Like they're, you know, they're 11th, 12th, 13th man. That's you, Kevin. It Thanks, is, David. That's great information. He's doing we'll well. see if they've right. the strategy, Greg, that can get them out. So, right, facing such a disruptive I mean, you know, this Celtic squad challenges, but coach often relies on like their bench the to do a lot of work. Is there. They just uh, they're gonna have to uh, for this one because the Raptors do the same. So, I think it's gonna come down to who has the better bench. Truly, as Kawhi goes to the line, taking two shots. And he can't mm. get the first one. He can't get that one to the guy who keeps to himself quite a bit. Kawhi Leonard more tries to lead by example and holds himself to the highest standards on the floor. So already this is a good foul for the and Celtics. And he's good on the second. So they only have one point Boston on this possession here. Passes it to Tatum. Mm. Here's Collins. That's Nice little pick and roll there. Couldn't get it to go though, Bart. That's the only or kind of defense that's going to cut the mustard here tonight. You got to successfully top defend of a guy that. Like that, who could play at such a high level offensive. Mm. But look at Trace McGrady. McGrady. Six nine, getting doubled. He's going to find the open guy. Celtics actually defending that. Perfect. That's that is textbook defense. Hedging. Lets it go from deep. 
forcing the pass out and then getting out there and rotating the man to play perfect. confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, right now I don't see any let up. I think he's going to just keep putting his foot on that gas pedal tonight. It's stolen. Wow, Bob Pussy poking that one free. It's stolen by Carter. Ooh. Wait, McGrady. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. There, showing once again with how well wow, okay. Hey, Pussy poked the ball out. McGrady made up for it, though. And stole the ball right back. The and then he drove down and threw down the end. Bargnani kicks to McGrady. Lots of fun. Oh, wait. They get it back. Oh man, Logan is <laughs> down with a nice was just jam. waiting for that rebound. And able to pad his stats a little bit there on that play. The board and the back. And you know, Greg, that'll put him in the good graces of that coaching <laughs> staff, too. My goodness. Now, here's Lewis. This Carter draped on Lunar Max. On the wing, Burke. Six on the shot clock. That's, that's a, it's ooh. not going to go for him. Now, you think Bird shooting like that? That one legged fade in the post. Oh, oh my. And that'd be a bucket, but yeah. I mean, yo, if you're the Raptors, your mismatch is definitely offensively. Very few it's assists Carlos as a playmaker, and now it's a it's a key part of his game. You want to you wanna really attack now, that. Lewis. And then Vince Carter on Max Lewis. That's really who you want to go at all night. Bird, I post. Um, of course, gets the bucket. defensively, though, Lewis has those got are also your mismatches. Uh, now, what a great option he you know, gives them so on like, every that, That's going to be the matchup to, to watch his offense of course. Larry Bird, Max Lewis, well, Vince Carter, looking Kirk Lowe. the three-point line. Hmm. I like to see that, hmm. especially when the results are made yeah. up. See, really left Larry, out of their last making that big, easy boy run. You gotta, that's what you gotta do. You gotta Here's make run. Oh, look at that pass, bro. Tracy McGrady. Balling out. Shot a little up, but the bounce goes his way. I would dare say that. He's, he's, he's the sole the reason they got the lead. I mean, generating that extra possession, throwing it down, textbook. creating well that pass, and led the bucket. You know. Mm. Oh, but he fouled him. Was that for three? Yes, it was. Or so, a player yeah, Larry stressing this young man, boy. <laughs> uh, he, he too big and beefy and to be try to keep up with Larry. Austin making a switch here. Fights checked in. So they're gonna sub him out. And I do believe. The second. No, they keep him in. They got Morris coming in and Stoudemire coming in. The Raptors on the look in. And he nails the third. And what an advantage you really feel like for the Celtics. Jojo White's coming in for Bob Cousy. Here's Stoudemire. Dishes it to Morris. And that's it. White against Stoudemire. This is really a time for the Celtics to step up here. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots. Raptors. Drafted Tony Burke. Uh, On to White. There's the know. three. By the Didn't really hear much from him during summer league, you know, over the summer, Stoudemire spring league, all that all stuff. Didn't, not really much from him. Pass the card. He's not in the, you know, on the bench lineup even. Like he's deep, deep off the bench. For the three, uh, and again Toronto with the triple. They same with, I mean, no Celtics. You're drafting Craig Ellis. Uh, he's coming off the bench, but. Who really knows what he's doing, you know? And Vince Carter picks up the foul. That's his first foul. I think for a team like the Celtics, though, I mean, if you're coming deep off the bench, you can't even really be mad, you know? Because they're going to substitute a ton of people in. Havlicek, Pierce, McHale. Boston, no good that time either. Mm. Trying to go for an alley -oop, but excellent Kale already making his impact so and that'll be two Paul Pierce officials on the call with the five. I'm surprised he didn't go for three in transition and we know Pierce has the jumper but you can also count it inside with and that one falls for Pierce and the Raptors with some changes Barnes who's checked in for one so a couple changes for everybody so now Cowens is coming out checked in for Boston for Russell and uh, we so got we get some Bosch 
uh, Barnes, Whitehead, all in for the Raptors. So their full bench is out on the floor here tonight. This is usually where the Celtics thrive. Benches on the floor. Oh, Stoudemire, though. This man's a walking bucket. Pierce. Oh, I like that. Oh, Pierce with a nice little spin. Play, Attacking the rim. Like that, you see everybody get you up. expect him to pull up, but he has not done that so far. He's, he's attacking that low. He's taking the free points. Barnes can't get it to go. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Mm. Most of those 50 50 balls also going their way. Celtics are now getting it in transition. The break right at the rim. Yeah, anything other than a layup in that situation, probably disappointing. Had numbers, took advantage. Now here's Bosch. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Four on the clock. Front mm. pass the arc. Mm. And slot is off. Ooh. Almost didn't secure that rebound. Here's White. Good thing Bill Russell was there. Outside Does Russell. he get the credit for the rebound? Again? Oh, that's a bucket. Pierce for three. Paul Pierce got that long stroke, but it's gold, two two. though. If he and can get it off, you know. Mechanics are as strong as Pierce's. Putting up a quick shot is not that hard. Passes it to Bosch. Here's Whitehead. Mm. And they get mm. it. Connects. Ooh, three right back at him, though. Whitehead's got it all tied up. And even on the bench, bro. Nice the mismatch is still there. at the center and at the. Shooting our positions for ways to the, three the Raptors. Got old Bill Russell, and old John Havlicek. You got to make them work. John make them run. Meanwhile, for the Celtics, you got Kevin McHale, you got Paul Pierce. You should be able to eat with those guys. I would run pick and roll all day. Yeah, this is the call right here. Oh. Was that supposed to be a pass or was that a collected shot? That almost came up with a steal there. Real close, and I'm sure next time you might time that a little bit better and get a handle. Oh, Paul Pierce, this is a bucket right here. Here's Pierce. Seven points Kale in the game. Had Six like to shoot. zero awareness though. Good D by Barnes. So they got to settle for that. And so here's Toronto. That's no bueno. Bosch passes to Stoudemire. Raptors, if you can survive with your bench on the floor. And again, it's Toronto converting. You got a good chance to come up with the dub here at home, especially since you just beat them. So home. You can go back to back for basically. White kicks to Havlicek. Beat them while Max Lewis is uh, again you know, still still coming in, still developing. Coverage defensively that time. He has confidence to drill. Mouse in the house alert here. Tries from ten. Oh, no couldn't good. get it to go. Man. Last game for the Celtics, it was a loss to the Raptors in Toronto. Mm. Stoudemire against White. Mm. Pass to Pierce. Will it go? Hangs on the trifecta. Oh, nice. Pierce has got 10 points. And off to a strong start offensively. He's got a nice touch. That's beautiful, mate. They had a two for one opportunity and they, they took full advantage of it. Back to Stoudemire. Good, it's Bosch picking up the assist. It's still, man, it's still got Six 10 seconds to cook here. That just goes to show you the three pointer a player ties us up going into with the second like quarter. That. Oh, and they're going to hit it here. Oh, JoJo White with a nice step back. That's going to tie it up. I'd like to say that the Raptors would be able to win, especially since they just pulled off a win. But I'm thinking because they just pulled off a win over the Celtics, the Celtics are going to steal one, if that makes any sense. I just feel like this, that's like the Sims logic. I feel like that's going to happen. Celtics are going to win this. And they do. And they do by 11. Um, let's take a look at how they got it done, right? Uh, up three at half. Okay, up another two. So it's kind of a fairly close game, right? Uh, and then up another six. Getting to the line 10 times in the fourth and going a perfect 100% even is what's crazy to me. Of your 16 attempts, 10 of them came in the fourth quarter and they went 100% from the line throughout the game. You know, that's a stinger, right? 
when another when the other team goes sixty seven percent, like that's a huge differential. Um, and then on top of that, fifty nine three point attempts, man. They were absolutely gunning from beyond the arc. Look at the offensive rebound differential, right? An extra thirteen offensive rebounds for the Celtics. When you get that many extra looks, you can shoot at a lower percentage. Because you know that those looks are going to, they're going to get you to the line. And when you're going 16 to 16, I mean, you, you'll eat on that. And you got the extra shot. Why not take it? Right. So it's like, they were just free balling out there, man. And their bench was, was a huge part of that 19 point differential for the bench. Um, Kawhi at 26 points on seven of 10 from beyond the arc and had 10 rebounds, you know, Fantastic performance from him. Stoudemire, or Sudemeyer, however you want to pronounce it, uh, with 20 points off the bench and multiple steals. But then Tracy McGrady, like, couldn't get it going. Bob Cousy was actually defending him pretty nice. Um, same with Vince Carter. Uh, you know, same with Bargnani, right? You know, it actually was getting tight, you know, boxed up a little bit. Um, but really their bench is, is, is where they really fell apart. I mean, they still had solid numbers and solid efficiency, but their bench is where they really fell off. You know, three of seven, two of six, one of three, uh, some people not scoring a single point, you know, it, that, that hurts you. That hurts you big time. Of course, the Celtics, Bob Cousy, man, lit them up 20 points and then doing the work defensively as well. Jason Tatum had. 19 points, eight rebounds, was doing his assignment. Max Lewis giving that, you know, three point threat going 40% from beyond the arc. Paul Pierce going 50% from beyond the arc. JoJo White dropping buckets on him. Uh, Larry Bird, a miserable two of 13 and two of eight from beyond the arc. Kirk Logan had him absolutely boxed, but he recognized it. He was spreading that thing around, man. 12 assists, 8 rebounds. You know, still kind of redeemed his stat line a little bit. Uh, McHale, though, with, with big boards. Dave Cowens with big boards. Um, let's let's check, let's check out Bill Russell. I mean, he getting old. He getting up there. You know, uh, Martin Cole doing basically nothing for him. They're, they're happy to replace him <laughs> with uh, Max Lewis. Very happy 